Upon waking up, Liao Zixuan found himself transported to the gaming world of Falling God. Just as he was preparing not to embarrass the army of travelers and aspired to become a legendary boss the rural girl across from him, who was scared to the ground, used her bony and dirty little hands to tremble and touch the milky little wolf head in his milk. Okay. Not only did he fail to reincarnate into an adult, but he also became someone else's summoning beast in a daze. But this setback was not enough to defeat Liao Zixuan, who was known as a divine level companion, in his previous life. So many years later in the game, there is an additional Eternal Night Queen, the terrifying Witch of the Annihilation, the Holy Witch of the Elemental Shintoism, and the Commander of the Fallen Abyss Fortress, becoming a mysterious existence that makes major forces and countries tremble with fear. Outside the game, there is an additional legendary character who is regarded by countless players, running through the main storyline of each version, making countless otaku sleepless and fervently admired by the super popular goddess behind all of this, Liao Zixuan happily put away his hoe for cultivation. Have you seen it? From the silly little village girl back then, to this super watery cabbage now I raised it. Keywords of the novel I will develop a cannon fodder NPC into a legendary witch without a pop.up window. I will download the complete set of cannon fodder NPC's development into a legendary witch txt, and read the latest chapter of cannon fodder NPC's development into a legendary witch. Chapter 1 Gunpowder NPCs will not encounter high gameplay. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 1 Gunpowder NPCs will not encounter high gameplay. Dida Dida, it's like the top of a cave dripping water, falling into a secluded pond, with regular and rhythmic sounds echoing in my ears. Liao Zixuan had never slept so comfortably before, feeling as if a whole century had passed. He instinctively rolled over and let out a gasp. Ao, Liao Zixuan, whose consciousness was still hazy, did not notice any abnormality in his voice, but the next moment, another cry that seemed like a little girl being frightened finally woke him up. Ah! Pudong! After the exclamation, the sound of falling followed closely. When Liao Zixuan opened his eyes, the scene in front of him was like this. In the dimly lit cave, a girl who appeared to be thirteen or fourteen years old fell to the ground, curled up opposite her. The other party was wearing a very thin coarse linen clothes, and it seemed like they had been in the wilderness for a long time. The clothes were stained with a lot of soil, and scratches and holes were visible everywhere. At this moment, the girl looked at herself with a wary expression on her face, but her uncontrollable trembling body still exposed her inner fear. Dot. Liao Zixuan only had a big question mark in his mind now. Isn't he just finished a solo training session in Falling God, exhausted and half dead, lying in his bed at home, snoring and sleeping soundly? But this cave in front of me, this skinny little girl like a bamboo pole, and this lying trough. Liao Zixuan lowered his head and saw his furry hands. Oh no, they should be claws. He was instantly scared and screamed but when he reached his mouth, he became, ow. Dot. Ahem. 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 With the last glimmer of hope, he ran to a pool in the cave, but when he saw his true self through the reflection in the water-lying trough. Ow. He let out another exclamation of surprise, but this time it was no longer a shock, but a surprise. Is this the dark flame wolf? Which absolute hidden boss in version 1.0 of Fire of the Fire, in the game Fallen God, along with another phoenix called Salary Flame, is listed as one of the two forbidden lives in the Flame Domain, each dominating their own super monsters. Liao Zixuan rubbed his eyes vigorously with his two small claws as if in a dream. I saw myself reflected on the water surface, covered in grayish brown hair, with short and thick limbs, a round head, and a soft fluff covering both sides of the neck. If at first glance, it looks completely like a living young black dog, quite cute. Who is Liao Zixuan? As the number one companion trainer in the game, Falling God, there is still some basic professional competence. The young dark flame wolf is not prominent and difficult to distinguish. 
Only those who are extremely familiar with Dark Flame Wolf can distinguish it through a few details, and Liao Zixuan is one of them. If asked why, no one else, only the hands are familiar. When the 1.0 version came to an end during the server opening period, I don't know how many bosses of the summoner profession spent exorbitant amounts of money to contract a Dark Flame Wolf as a summoning beast. As a companion trainer, Liao Zixuan naturally took on many orders. However, the Dark Flame Wolves that their players were able to contract in the game were all products of being weakened and castrated, but even so, they still remained at the top T0 on the strength chart. But my current self is clearly time travel has turned into a lively and real Dark Wolf Cup. Wait. Not right. Liao Zixuan had never heard of a dark scorching wolf being born in such a dilapidated cave. As if he had realized something, he quickly looked towards the position where he had first woken up after sleeping. And when I found out that it was an altar-like stone pier, an unpleasant premonition surged in my heart. Wait a moment, I don't think so thinking of Liao Zixuan here, the wolf's head suddenly turned and a pair of dark golden vertical pupils stared straight at the other person in the cave that he had been ignoring since just now. That thin and weak girl who seemed to have come out of a small dilapidated village from somewhere, like a refugee. When Liao Zixuan's attention was focused, a game panel that he was very familiar with began to appear in front of him. Vivian Level 5 Attributes Strength 1, Agility 1, Endurance 1, Physical Fitness 1, Charm 1, Lucky 8, Elemental Affinity 1, Currently Biased Towards Element. Fire, Faction. Yenyu. Huidian City. Noki Village Local Reputation Point 10, People Can Be Deceived, Legend Level. 0, Unknown to Everyone, Status. Poisoned, Dot. Main Profession. Apprentice Summoner LV1, Associate Occupation. Villager LV2, Tailor LV2, Skill. None Talent and Expertise. None Professional Expertise. Soul Symbiosis. Can summon slash contract monsters to become your summoning beasts. When the summoning beasts die, you will bear some damage. When you die, the summoning beasts will dissipate together. The maximum number of contractable monsters can be unlocked according to the class level current summon beast. 1 slash 1, unnamed, level. 15, childhood, attributes. Strength 17, agility 19, endurance 15, constitution 15, elemental affinity 35, currently biased towards element. Fire, race. Dark Flame Wolf If Liao Zixuan's expression could be personified at this moment, it must be the subway, the elderly, or a mobile phone. Sai it is indeed like this. The appearance of the game panel proved three things for Liao Zixuan. 1. This is indeed the game world of Fallen God. 2. I descended into the world of Fallen God as a summoning beast of an indigenous people. 3. As his summoner, this indigenous people. That dish is outrageous. The level is mediocre, and the attributes are even more unbearable. In the game, it is definitely a type of battle scumbag, cannon fodder type NPC that no one wants to take a second look at. The only thing worth mentioning may be the opponent's incredible luck attribute, which even Liao Zixuan, who was a professional player in his previous life, couldn't quite understand. You say it's powerful, but it doesn't seem to have any other basic attributes that are practical. But you say it's not powerful, right now, Liao Zixuan has basically sorted out the process of the incident. It's just that this village girl accidentally walked into a inheritance cave in the wilderness, which is where they are now. The so dot called inheritance cave is a special way to obtain professions in the game, which does not require players to complete a series of prerequisite tasks, nor does it require players to spend money to prepare any material props. Directly create an incredibly precious profession scroll, and in the cave, it will also come with some helpful props for that profession. For example, a warrior class will give away a high dot quality weapon, mage class will give away a skill scroll below level B, and a summoner class will give away a free summoning opportunity. 
It is obvious that the rural girl in front of her, who even had tattered clothes, was promoted from a villager to a summoner profession by a stroke of luck through the inheritance cave, and then summoned herself out with its accompanying free summoning. What kind of bad luck is this? You should know that if summoning is compared to drawing cards, then Liao Zixuan, the dark flame wolf, is definitely at the SSS level. Among the five stars, the probability is probably less than one in ten thousand. Forget it people have to admit it, no, now it should be wolves who have to admit their fate. In his past life, Liao Zixuan was known as a divine level companion for training. He was able to cultivate those foolish bosses into leaders of major super guilds one by one. Can't he still train a rustic village girl who has never been seen in the world? Hee <laughs> hee, you're joking. Planting vegetables, we are professionals. Even if you are a sickly and thin seedling now, we can still cultivate a watery and spiritual Chinese cabbage for you. With this idea in mind, Liao Laonong moved his little beast's limbs and began walking step by step towards the girl, while also calculating his plan for how to cultivate the future. Then, before taking a few steps, Liao Zixuan froze. Because across from him, the village girl who was her summoner, this girl named Vivian, she seeing herself, that is, her summoning beast walking towards her just turn your head and run. End of this chapter. Chapter 2 Yi is very strong, you lie down well. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 2 Yi is very strong, you lie down well, it's over, it's over. It's all over. Vivian dragged her exhausted body, gritted her teeth, and forced her last bit of strength as she ran towards the forest outside. The girl's heart is filled with regret at this moment. She left the village alone and ventured to the Claw of Terror Forest to collect medicine for her seriously ill younger brother. Seeing that the sun was about to set, she originally wanted to find a hidden cave to spend the night. But who would have thought that there was a glowing scroll in the cave, and she didn't know what kind of magic was on it. She miraculously approached and touched the scroll with her hands. As for everything that happened next, it was completely beyond her understanding as a small villager. First, the curled white light rushed into her body. Before she could react, the stone pillar in the center of the cave began to flicker incessantly. When the light faded, a demon appeared out of thin air. Although that monster looks quite cute. Vivian felt like she must be crazy. Because at that time, she actually had a feeling in her heart that, that monster belongs to her, and even for a moment, she wanted to get closer and touch the other person's head with her hands. And the result is naturally a big disaster. As soon as she tiptoed closer to the monster, the other person seemed to have noticed it. They opened their eyes from their sleep and shouted at themselves, and then seemed even more enraged. They looked at her with prey-like eyes and approached her step by step, clearly treating her as dinner. Ha whoosh in the forest where the sky was getting darker and darker, the girl struggled to catch her breath as she ran in an unknown direction. Her barren chest was scorching, and her limbs were as heavy as lead. The girl, who was already suffering from malnutrition, took great risks and spent the whole day searching for medicine in the demon-filled claw forest. Her thin body was already extremely weak. Run. I can't run anymore my legs and feet are completely numb poppet. Without paying attention to the vines under her feet, Vivian became the last straw to overwhelm the camel. She only felt her body lose balance in an instant, followed by a black fall towards the ground in front of her. However, misfortune never comes alone before Vivian could struggle to support her body and get up, a jolt came from the bushes right in front of her. Subsequently, a scene appeared that made the girl completely despair. Hissing the piercing sound of death knocking on the door was heard, and two or three pythons, the size of a bucket and seven or eight meters long, were seen spitting out cold messages, revealing their bodies from the bushes. Their eyes gleamed faintly in the darkness, and their pointed snake heads looked towards Vivian, who had fallen to the ground. In an instant, a gloomy and terrifying sense of being locked filled the girl's entire body. Without a doubt, she was once again treated as prey. 
There are wolves in front and tigers behind. Vivian tried several times to get up but failed. She really had no strength left, and now the only thing she could do was perhaps wait to die. As soon as she thought of this, tears couldn't stop overflowing from the corners of the little girl's eyes. She wasn't afraid of death herself, although there was a little bit of it, Vivian was still thinking more about her brother who had fallen ill in bed at the moment. If she dies here and doesn't pick any herbs to take back, what should she do with her younger brother's illness? My younger brother is still so young, different from her as a girl. He is a man, the hope of the whole family, and the pillar of the future. Vivian has had no mother since she was young. Her mother died in childbirth when she gave birth to her younger brother, and her father's temperament changed greatly as a result. He drank and gambled all day, leaving only her and her young brother to rely on each other. Can a father who drinks excessively all day take care of his younger brother without himself? In addition, if she dies, the business that her father had agreed with others to sell her to the big city would probably be ruined. Without the money to sell herself, how will her father repay the debt he owes from gambling? Where does the money for treating illness come from behind my younger brother? The more she thought in her heart, the thicker the mist in the girl's eyes became. Vivian doesn't want to die yet. At least she needs to wait for her father to sell her and exchange her for money before she dies. This way, at least her father and brother's life will be better in the future unfortunately, no one can hear the girl's voice. Fortunately, no one could hear it. If Liao Zixuan knew at this moment that the girl's dying wish was just this, and that someone else had sold it and had to help count the money, he might not have been so angry. Oh, no Liao Zixuan now is actually almost furious. This silly girl. From the moment the girl saw him approaching in the cave and turned around to run, Liao Zixuan's heart began to curse incessantly. It was the first time he had seen a summoner scared away by the monsters he summoned. Of course, Liao Zixuan also understood that this girl named Vivian couldn't be blamed, after all, she was a little girl from a remote rural village who might not even know what summoner was. As for what really makes Liao Zixuan so angry now she runs so fast. With his short legs as a juvenile dark wolf, in the already complex forest terrain, just a bunch of vines and shrubs is enough for him to drink a pot. It's really exhausting to chase after him. In theory, he should be able to crush the attribute value of the little girl in the blink of an eye, but even if it's a top-dot-level sports car, not knowing how to drive is useless. He has just crossed over and is not even familiar with the body of the little wolf cub, so he can only swing his limbs in the most clumsy way. But the key is that Liao Zixuan can't stop chasing after him, because as his summoner, if the girl encounters any accidents, he may have to come back with another time-traveling package. The sky is getting darker and darker now, and in the forest where monsters are frequent, a foolish girl with less than five combat abilities runs around recklessly is it purely for adding meals to other wild animals. Let others appreciate the gifts of nature. As Liao Zixuan vigorously waved his wolf legs, he was finally about to catch up and saw the girl's back falling to the ground. Of course, I also saw the few blue-skinned snakes not far away who treated the girl as their dinner. However Ha take a long breath and finally let go of the hanging heart. Although it appeared to be a very dangerous scene, Liao Zixuan deliberately slowed down his pace and even stood up his little wolf head for the sake of image. The wolf's claws took regular and rhythmic steps on the ground, and his body shook as he cleared all the soil and fallen leaves he had just run all the way. Why? The reason is simple. Absolute force crushing. Through the previous game panel, Liao Zixuan roughly understood their location, and in this remote area on the edge of the map, which players usually refer to as the novice village, the level of ordinary monsters will never exceed level 10. For example, the few green snakes in front of us are typical novice cannon fodder monsters. And myself, the dark flame wolf, a world.class boss, even just a newborn cub, is capable of instantly killing all the low-dot-level monsters here, yes, it's just a flash kill. It's like an ordinary person struggling for a lifetime, but it's not as good as someone else being born with a few houses. 
The world of humans is like this, and the world of monsters is even more so. In other words, at least within the outskirts of the forest in this novice area, as long as it is within Liao Zixuan's line of sight, there is no demon that can harm the girl. Because he is the strongest demon. How could Liao Zixuan, who was familiar with various novels at a certain point and well versed in the art of pretending to be forced, miss this opportunity to establish an image in front of a young girl? The more foolish and ignorant a girl you are, the more you must leave a profound first impression on her. So, at this moment, Liao Zixuan seemed to be on the upper body of his previous life's accompanying trainer. His wolf fur began to gradually change color all over his body, transforming from the previously inconspicuous gray-brown to a faint dark red, especially eye dot catching in the already dusk forest. At the same time, the temperature around Liao Zixuan rose sharply, and the scorching atmosphere twisted the air in his sight, as if it was about to be ignited. A trembling and terrifying aura emanated from him, causing countless birds and animals in the forest to flee in unison, making the quiet forest noisy. But this noise didn't last long. Because in just a few breaths, the sky was like a rain of fire. I saw that one by one, the birds and beasts who were about to fly away desperately just now were all mysteriously self-igniting, rising in unknown black flame and falling from high altitude. Other monsters lurking or trying to escape on the ground were not spared, one by one, as terrifying black flames ignited from their bodies, devouring them. Of course, this also includes the previous few blue-skinned snakes. One of the most terrifying innate skills of the dark flame wolf. Void ignite, it can be said that in just a few seconds, within a few miles, the only creature that could still breathe, the only one that was not engulfed by the black flame, was the limping girl on the ground. Is this the pleasure of using a cannon to shoot mosquitoes? It's so satisfying. Step by step. Wolf claws stepped on the ground, and the soil in the forest instantly emitted white smoke, leaving deep marks as if it had been flowed by magma. Time seemed to stand still at this moment, until Liao Zixuan walked up to the girl's side. At this moment, Vivian's mind was already blank. As a girl from a small village on the edge, how could she have seen such a scene? I saw Vivian staring blankly at Liao Zixuan. The young monster that appeared out of thin air from the cave and was awakened by her, the little girl's eyes were full of confusion, as if completely foolish. Great. What we need is this effect. Seeing the girl's appearance, Liao Zixuan nodded in his heart with satisfaction. Then, he gave the girl a glance, although he didn't know if the girl could understand his wolf-like gaze. But the general idea should be see, I'm very strong, you. Lie down well. Then, immediately after that I saw Vivian kicking her legs and creaking, lying on her side and fainting from fear. Liao Zixuan. Dot. End of this chapter. Chapter 3. Rural village women will not become legendary witches. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 3. Rural village women will not become legendary witches does it seem like you're exerting too much force. Watching Vivian fainting next to him, Liao Zixuan anthropomorphically scratched his head with his front paws. Hey life is not easy, wolves and wolves sigh. The sun had already set, and the night quickly shrouded the forest. It looked like this frightened little girl from home would probably not wake up for a while. Helpless, Liao Zixuan could only prepare for staying overnight in place. There is no need to worry about being attacked by monsters. Because his recent large dot scale, Void Ignite, had already turned all the monsters within a few miles into grilled meat. After feeling the aura and magical waves emanating from the remaining high dot level monsters with some strength, anyone with a bit of intelligence will quickly run away and never dare to approach half a point. So in other words, just a few minutes later, the girl had become an absolute, forbidden zone, in the eyes of the forest monsters. Ensuring that there are no monsters invading was just the first step, and Liao Zixuan had to consider the girl's poor health. Not long after nightfall, the unconscious little girl began to tremble all over. 
the rapidly decreasing temperature at night was not something her withered body could bear. At first, Liao Zixuan tried to pick up branches and make a fire, but later found that it was too inefficient. Hence boom. Bang. Several old trees around, estimated to be over a hundred years old, were mercilessly ignited by Liao Zixuan. The burning ancient trees collapsed with a loud noise, splashing dust on the ground. The temperature brought by burning a few branches and burning several ancient trees is absolutely different. It can be said that the effect is very significant. Waves of heat rushed in one after another, and the little girl's body on the ground did not tremble immediately. She even unconsciously furrowed her eyebrows, her mouth slightly opened, and there was a strong tendency to be awakened by the heat. By the way, it must be clarified that setting fire to the mountain and sitting in prison does not exist for Liao Zixuan. As a dark wolf, his skill is to control the fire element. So although it seems like a big fire has started here, in reality, if you look from a high altitude, you will find that all the flames seem to be covered by invisible covers, all confined to a single area, with no trend of spreading. After finishing all of this, Liao Zixuan nodded with satisfaction. Afterwards, he leaned against the girl and began to organize the gains from the previous battle. Your summoning beast has gained three points of experience by killing the red-winged beast, your summoning beast has gained five points of experience by killing the green-skinned snake, your summon beast has been killed the game panel, the largest golden finger among all game novels, was also brought over by Liao Zixuan. No, to be precise, I brought it over, but not completely. Because Liao Zixuan sadly discovered a fact. He is just a summoning beast and doesn't deserve to have his own game panel, so it's not him who actually owns the game system, but has been transferred to Vivian, the foolish girl beside him. From the subject in the battle record being, you, it can be seen that this rural girl is the first holder, while Liao Zixuan, as a summoning beast, can only rank second. But fortunately, because the girl is an indigenous of this world, she is unable to use and perceive the game system at all. Therefore, going back and forth indirectly made Liao Zixuan the only user of the system. Simply put, he was able to control both himself and the girl's panel at the same time. Sai although feeling depressed in his heart, Liao Zixuan also understood that this was actually a big good thing. After all, do you want to invest all 103 experience points into the summoner profession? Without hesitation, Liao Zixuan chose the yes button and used all the experience points he had just gained from a random killing on the girl. This is not that he is very generous, it's purely because of this little experience value. For his impressive dark flame wolf, it's not even enough to fill his teeth, so it's better to improve the girl's strength first. Soon, Two white lights flashed over Vivian's body. Congratulations on upgrading, your main profession, Summoner, has been upgraded to LV3, your total level has been raised to level 7, and there are currently two remaining attribute points available for allocation. Do you want to assign attributes? Sure enough this indigenous girl, Vivian, has also gained access to the game system, which means she will have a much faster upgrade speed than the indigenous people in this world becoming like a player with no bottlenecks and a twisted upgrade speed. At the same time, she also has privileges that players have never had before, that is, she will not lock the level limit due to the game version. Thinking of this, Liao Zixuan couldn't help but howl up to the sky. What do you call a proud woman of heaven, a woman of luck? Looking at this rural girl who was still unconscious with a resentful little gaze, she didn't know where she came from. A dark idea began to slowly breed in Liao Zixuan's heart. He. To cultivate this pure and flawless village girl in front of us, who has never seen anything in the world before, into a fearsome and fearsome ultimate witch that makes the whole world tremble. The feeling of personally seducing the white lotus flower into a dark queen made Liao Zixuan extremely excited. That's the happy decision. So in the first step, Liao Zixuan chose to upgrade all the attribute points obtained from Vivian and invest them all in the element affinity attribute. Which and which, what matters is magic. What kind of strength, agility, physique, and mud leg attributes are all ignored. 
On Liao Zixuan's side, he was recklessly carrying out his witch business, transforming the bodies of young girls Vivian seems to have sensed it as a result. From unconscious to asleep, the confused little girl rolled over and instinctively hugged Liao Zixuan, who was originally leaning against her and still playing hard, with both hands in her arms. In theory, this should be a very enjoyable part in reality yes wow. This is too scary. The little milk wolf in the girl's arms, Liao Zixuan showed a very humanized struggling expression. His little wolf legs kept twitching for a simple reason. They really had no meat at all, all hard bones. Bones. No way. No way. At this moment, Liao Zixuan realized the serious mistake he had made and ignored a crucial issue. That is to say, before starting his witch cultivation career, there is another more urgent task to do. That's it first, take care of this bony and emaciated silly girl, who is all over her body and withered all over here. Nurture. Fat. After all, she will become a great witch in the future, and even if it spreads, it will make people laugh. End of this chapter. Chapter 4. A Moment in History. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 4. A Moment in History. Vivian has never slept so comfortably before. Not only is the body warm, it feels like being next to a big stove, but also the face feels like being pillowed with high.end fur that only people in big cities can use. It's both soft and fluffy, so wonderful. The girl in her dreamland involuntarily rubbed her face against the pillow in her arms, but it didn't matter. Vivian suddenly felt her pillow tremble along with it. The girl opened her eyes in a daze, and the first thing she saw when she woke up was Liao Zixuan, who was tightly held in her arms, with an unattainable little wolf face. So, time seemed to solidify at this moment. Liao Zixuan watched helplessly as the girl's expression changed from confusion to dullness, and then from dullness to confusion again. Finally, as Vivian looked as if she was about to be scared unconscious, he quickly activated the emergency plan he had already planned. Suck up. I saw that Liao Zixuan resolutely extended his little wolf tongue and, while he was still being held in the arms of a young girl, immediately lightly licked Vivian's delicate nose. Shame. What a shame. Liao Zixuan never imagined that he would have such a day. He was an old man, a world.class boss cub, and a dark inflammatory wolf regarded as a taboo life. At this moment, he was like a little dog, licking someone else's face. Shameful. How shameful. This section must be cut off. Cannot broadcast. But don't say it yet seem it's really a bit overwhelming. So the tip of a girl's nose feels this way. What about here? What about here? Here suck up. Bada 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 after three or four seconds, our poor Vivian seemed to come to her senses. The girl finally mustered up the courage, using her trembling little hands to wipe the saliva on her face in a daze, and then trembling, she pulled the little wolf that was still licking her face away from her own. Cough. Cough anyway, it's agreed that this paragraph won't be written in, as long as I'm not embarrassed, it's just someone else. Liao Zixuan shamelessly muttered in his heart that everything just now was just to gain the trust of this foolish girl. It was purely a helpless move, a helpless move. Absolutely not. He later discovered that the addictive ingredients of licking were inside. Unfortunately, he still thought confidently in the front, but the girl's first sentence from behind almost made Liao Zixuan stumble. I don't have much meat, I sob. I really don't taste good, Vivian said with a teary tone at first, but later she felt more tense. The corners of the girl's eyes were wet, and she didn't know if it was morning dew, tears, or saliva that hadn't been wiped clean anyway, the little girl split her legs with a snap and sat in front of Liao Zixuan with a figure eight, looking so miserable. Good guy, I just licked her for nothing. This silly girl thought she was going to eat her. Liao Zixuan's infuriated straightforwardness turned into stomping wolf feet. He first tugged hard at the corner of the girl's clothes with his mouth, 
telling her not to cry, and then shook his head suddenly at the girl. There's no way, now Vivian's level as a summoner is too low, and they can't communicate with each other through telepathy. They can only use this most primitive method. Are you saying you don't want to eat me? Vivian saw a demon that could communicate with humans for the first time, at least for this little girl who came out of poverty. Ah! Liao Zixuan quickly nodded vigorously on his side. Seeing the little wolf on the ground, it seemed as if she was actually responding to her. Vivian was completely stunned for a moment, and then, surprisingly, her curiosity temporarily overwhelmed her fear. She quickly asked in an incredulous tone. Can you understand what I'm saying? Ow. Mad. This silly girl has finally enlightened. Liao Zixuan was very relieved in his heart, and he was almost crying. It was not easy. He even nodded and circled on the ground, wagging his tail excitedly. Grass. Wait, it's not good. Why does it feel like it's becoming more and more like a species with the surname Ha? Forceful. Where did my pussy go? He is a dark wolf, and his soul is a top-tier gamer in Fallen God. His identity must be maintained. Just as I was planning to maintain my image, the next sentence from the girl across from me instantly broke Liao Zixuan's defense. Can you let me go? Vivian was like a helpless little sheep that had accidentally fallen into a wolf's den. After carefully asking, she looked at Liao Zixuan with pitiful big eyes and a pleading expression. Ah! Ah! Liao Zixuan couldn't bear it anymore. He shouted fiercely at the girl twice, then raised the little wolf's head high and shook it vigorously. Being a person, no, being a wolf still requires being tough. Be stronger. He first pointed to the girl with his little paw, then pointed to himself, and finally pointed to the direction of the forest exit, meaning that you must always be with me, let's go out of the forest and go home together. After Liao Zixuan's efforts Vivian finally accepted this small but terrifying little wolf demon, as if she had no ill intentions towards her and was determined to follow her. So, I don't know where the girl's sudden courage came from, perhaps it was a professional instinct after becoming a summoner. After hesitating for a moment, Vivian's eyes showed a little excitement from M.O. Ming. She slowly reached out her little hand and tentatively touched Liao Zixuan's little brain. And Liao Zixuan did not refuse either, fearing that the girl would retreat halfway, he took the initiative to approach and get closer. Finally. An absolutely historic moment was born in the inconspicuous small corner of the flame domain, located on the edge of the world of fallen god in the claw of terror forest. From this moment on, the trust relationship between the two. Oh no, one person, one wolf was officially established and countless historians and fanatical players in later generations, under the secret command of a malicious wolf god, named this event, The Witch Begins, and The Birth of the Queen, it is said that at that time, the legendary witch Miss Vivian, who had already stood at the top of the pyramid and was invincible in the world, died for several months after learning about this. But of course at this moment, our silly girl, Vivian Village Girl, is still excitedly giggling. After seeing the caressing behavior of Liao Zixuan, a young wolf cub, without any resistance or dissatisfaction, the girl immediately became bold. Vivian's little hand began to touch this place on the left and that place on the right. Oh my goodness, we're not really a family. If we don't enter each other's doors, the girl is clearly addicted to touching. At first, Liao Zixuan tolerated it a bit after all, it's understandable. With his noble bloodline as the Dark Flame Wolf, his entire body is top.notch. If he really wants to sell it, he will have to start at tens of thousands of gold coins. Can money measure this? Vulgarity. And, to be honest, he was indeed quite comfortable being touched by the girl. But from now on when Vivian's little hands began to gradually act recklessly, unconsciously getting closer and closer to certain places that he shouldn't touch, Liao Zixuan was all over with excitement and quickly escaped from the girl's clutches. Perhaps she also noticed that she had touched too much, and the girl's small face immediately blushed with embarrassment, 
although she could still see a few strands of expression that was still unsatisfied however, soon after the commotion, Vivian seemed to finally realize that she still had something important to do. The girl quickly reached into her arms and, under the curious gaze of Liao Zixuan, carefully took out a small cloth bag from her arms. After the shop was spread out on the ground, it was discovered that there were several medicinal plants. End of this chapter Chapter 5 Tragic History You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 Tragic History Xiao He, can you help me find these few herbs in the forest? This is really important to me. My younger brother at home has fallen ill, and he urgently needs these treatments to save his life. The girl anxiously spoke while gesturing in sign language, afraid that Liao Zixuan wouldn't understand. Originally, Vivian was almost desperate about collecting herbs. Terror Claw Forest is full of danger, and she has to be cautious and alert to any possible monsters at any time, while also diverting her attention to search for herbs. It took her a whole day yesterday to pick such a pitiful litter of herbs, which was not enough for her brother's medical needs. Vivian, who was completely disillusioned, returned in vain and prepared to promise her father to sell her to a big city for money to treat her younger brother's illness. However, the appearance of Liao Zixuan brought new hope to the girl. After all, the little girl will never forget the scene from last night that was the raging fire rain caused by the little wolf demon in front of us, instantly turning all the forest monsters around us into ashes and dyeing the pitch black night red. Vivian has never seen the world before and doesn't understand anything, but she's not really stupid either. At least she's well aware of one fact, which is my own little wolf is very strong she is much stronger than many monsters in the forest that make her afraid and fearful. A lot. Super many. On the other hand, Liao Zixuan initially took a lazy breath and didn't pay much attention. Isn't it just to protect the little girl and collect some medicine in the forest? It's just a piece of cake, and he even cares more about Vivian's initial call to him, what kind of ghost is Xiao Hei? However suddenly, a scene flashed through Liao Zixuan's mind, causing his previously indifferent expression to gradually become more serious. Being reminded by the girl, Liao Zixuan recalled a very strange place when he looked at the girl's panel. Vivian status. Poisoned, dot. Poisoning there are three unknown question marks behind it generally speaking, information that can be displayed by the game panel as, dot, indicates extreme uniqueness and requires players to search for clues through missions or classics, which is very rare. But how could this thing happen to a girl from a remote rural village? Unless wait, poisoning, poisoning. Illness lying in bed, sick. A series of memories were instantly awakened, as if thinking of something very bad. Liao Zixuan's fur all over his body suddenly tightened, and the whole wolf appeared unusually serious. It's broken. How could he forget such a big thing? Now, it is obvious that I have traveled back to the opening period of Fallen God. At this time, the flame domain is still alive, and Alice, as the fire god, is still resisting the erosion of Fallen Abyss. However, as you can tell from the name of the game, Fallen God, all the main storylines revolve around God's Fall, and Alice, the fire god of Flame Domain, is the first god to be corrupted and fallen by the game's biggest villain, Fallen Abyss. The reason why the Fallen Abyss, which has been prepared for countless years, chose to use the fire god to start the surgery is simply a sentence. A single spark can start a prairie fire. The fire god may not be the strongest among the nine gods, but it must be the one with the widest range of influence on the domain and its people. Once the fire god encounters problems, all those who believe in the fire god will be affected accordingly. A symptomatic poisoning of the body is an early manifestation of the abyssal fire poison. In the second stage, there was a sudden and inexplicable illness that led to the collapse of the bed. And once it reaches the end, as the plot develops, the fire god Alice fails to resist and falls into the abyss at that time, all the people who believe in the fire god in the flame domain will immediately corrupt and become abyssal monsters, shocking the world with the trend of turning this evil force into a blazing fire, laying the foundation for the subsequent invasion of the fallen abyss.
and thus opening the prelude to the 2.0 version of the game under the Black Tide. The early plot of this long game was completely recalled by Liao Zixuan, as if it were vivid in his mind. However, after experiencing the initial tension, soon an uncontrollable fighting spirit began to spread rapidly throughout his body. The vast flame domain has been completely destroyed, and countless people have turned into monsters, making it a magical version of the biochemical crisis. However, the fire god Alice, one of the few gods among the nine gods who can care about the common people and is such a good goddess who loves the people like a child, and a super queen with extremely hot personality and body, ultimately degenerates into an abyssal monster. At the beginning, this plot made countless players sigh and feel angry. But it has to be said that tragedy always has the greatest emotional impact on people. It is precisely under the impetus of the tragic main storyline of server opening that players began to spontaneously and crazily pull their friends into the world of fallen gods, in order to strengthen their player army, vowing to fight against fallen abyss to the end and return my goddess. As for Liao Zixuan, he happened to be one of them, and it was also the reason why he was excited at this moment. After all, it's like Kerrigan mutating into the Blade Queen in StarCraft. If we can go back in time and participate in the plot, we must try to modify history and turn the tide. Xiao Hei, Xiao Hei. Vivian beside her saw Yao Zixuan in a daze, and suddenly became anxious. She reached out and kept shaking in front of the little wolf. Being pulled back to reality by the young girl, Liao Zixuan began to analyze and consider the current situation. Firstly, Vivian is currently experiencing asymptomatic poisoning in the first stage, which is likely to be transmitted from her younger brother. Her younger brother has all developed a second stage of severe illness in bed, which proves that Alice, the god of fire, is no longer in an optimistic state, and the situation is precarious. Of course, let's not talk about things that are so far away, let's just talk about how to solve the problems in front of the girl. There are only two ways to cure the poison of abyssal fire. The first is to escape from the flame domain and its influence before the fire god falls, and the second is to stop it before the fire god falls. Both of these are obviously impossible for Liao Zixuan at the moment, so he cannot relieve the girl's poison for the time being, only choosing to suppress it. It's difficult to cure, but if it's just suppression, it's much simpler. There are more than a dozen ways that Liao Zixuan knows alone, and the simplest one, which he can take immediate action on, is magic crystal grass the essence of the poison of abyssal fire is to erode the magic within the body. As long as there is sufficient magic, it can be suppressed and delayed. Magic crystal grass is such a plant that contains sufficient magic. But that's right magic crystal grass is different from these ordinary herbs collected by the girl before. The reason why it can be full of magic is precisely because the environment in which this grass grows already contains a lot of magic. And this type of environment, in the words of players, is usually called boss nest. End of this chapter. Chapter 6 The Advancing Girl You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 The Advancing Girl, Xiao Hei, Should We Continue to Move Forward? Vivian looked into the deep forest in the distance, where the vegetation was becoming more and more lush. The girl instinctively shrank her neck. However, the little beast held in her arms let out a weak cry and pushed the girl with its small paws. Upon being reminded by Liao Zixuan, the little girl realized that she was holding Xiao Hei tightly because she was too nervous, and she didn't have much flesh all over her body, especially the part on her chest, which was just a bored MMM, sorry. Xiao Hei. Vivian's innocent face instantly turned red, not because of any shyness, but because she felt too embarrassed and quickly apologized. However, as one person and one wolf spoke, a muffled roar suddenly rang out from the ancient tree above the girl. Immediately after, a huge black figure, over half a person high, launched a surprise attack on the unprepared Vivian on the ground with lightning speed, rushing straight down. That is a leopard-shaped monster with sharp teeth and claws. It has obviously been secretly targeting the girl for a long time, constantly looking for opportunities for her to relax and launch a final kill. 
And now is obviously the best time for it. Then then there was no more. Before its claws touched the girl's body, the demon leopard's own body mysteriously ignited and was engulfed by black flames in mid-air. After landing, only a unrecognizable charred corpse remained. As for our Vivian, she was first startled by the black corpse that fell from the air, but soon recovered and even became accustomed to it, gradually adapting. There is no other reason, such situations have happened too many times along the way. This is one of Liao Zixuan's plans. The little girl, besides anything else, at least as a bait to attract monsters, is definitely a first-class good ingredient. On the way to the boss lair deep in the forest, Liao Zixuan naturally couldn't let the girl idle, after all, there might be a fierce battle ahead. As they delved deeper, they gradually left the novice zone and the monster's level also increased. If it's just a regular template for forest monsters, it's okay to deal with them. No matter how high the level is, they can still give away food. However, once they reach the boss level and obtain an elite template with expertise, even Liao Zixuan needs to be cautious. Therefore, the primary goal for Liao Zixuan at the moment is to enable Vivian to first have the ability to protect herself and avoid a dragging oil bottle in battle. However, this is actually not difficult, after all, Vivian is a legendary NPC with a player template, and there are no bottlenecks. As long as you continuously kill monsters to gain experience, you can easily upgrade and advance. This is not after killing this demon leopard, the girl's accumulated experience can finally break through the level 10 level. In Falling God, every 10th level is a hurdle, accompanied by the upgrading and strengthening of professions. Liao Zixuan clearly saw that Vivian's panel was rapidly changing at this moment. The most prominent one among them is the girl's main profession, which has been changed from Apprentice Summoner to Summoner LV1 after removing the word Apprentice, don't underestimate the fact that only these two words are missing, there is a lot of professional expertise that can only be obtained by formal summoners. For example, telepathy. You have a telepathic connection with the summoning beast heart, and you are not limited by language and can communicate your thoughts to each other within a certain range. Moses Moses. Savatica. Hello. Can you hear me? The sound that suddenly appeared in her mind really scared Vivian, almost making the little girl throw Liao Zixuan out of her arms. Who is talking? The girl nervously looked left, then back, and finally felt a small paw scratching her before Vivian shifted her gaze downwards. Xiao He, was it you talking to me just now? The little girl's eyes were full of disbelief. Liao Zixuan nodded his wolf head with a slightly helpless expression. Due to the fact that young girls have just been promoted and their professional expertise in telepathy is not yet proficient, their communication cannot use complete sentences and is limited to conveying vague thoughts. However, this is far more powerful than using body language at the beginning. After learning that she could really communicate with Xiao Hei, also known as Liao Zixuan, Vivian appeared extremely excited. It's no wonder that the little girl was alone in the forest, and what she needed most was to rely on her. Moreover, she had already been holding back a lot of words in her heart, wanting to find someone to say. Xiaohe, I. I feel that since we walked deeper into the forest, my body has become more and more strange. The girl bent down and gently put Liao Zixuan down, then looked at her hands with a confused expression. I always feel like there's something trying to surge out. Perhaps it's instinctive, Vivian murmured as she instinctively raised a hand. The girl may not have realized it yet, but Liao Zixuan, who was extremely sensitive to magic, had already noticed that just as the girl raised her hand, the magic in the surrounding forest seemed to go crazy, as if there was a huge water pump that began to rush towards the girl's thin and small body. Immediately after, as if reaching a critical point, a dazzling magical halo bloomed from Vivian's palm. Before the little girl could even react, it turned into a pure magical energy and roared towards the distance. Boom! Boom! A huge sound erupted in the forest in the next moment. Starting from Vivian, a straight line stretched out, and the forest seemed to be cut apart from the middle by this line. 
all the trees passing through it were destroyed and collapsed, forming a vacuum area. With a snap. The little girl sat on the ground in a daze, frightened by herself, with an expression on her face that said, Who am I, where am I, and what have I done? On the other hand, Liao Zixuan, who didn't take it seriously and didn't feel much of a fuss, was also shocked by this scene. He rubbed his eyes with his own little wolf, a bit comically. The common basic skill of all spellcasters' professions is magic missile, in theory, it is like this. But if the spellcasters in the world of Fallen God knew that the terrifying destruction they had just caused was carried out by a country girl who had just removed her apprentice hat, had never been exposed to any magic before, and had come out of nowhere, instinctively and subconsciously. They definitely won't believe it even if they die. After all, if this is really true, then they will definitely disregard any image and use various super-large magic to teleport and locate, rushing to grab people. Why? What a peerless genius. What a magical talent this is. It's so terrifying. But in fact, the principle was really simple, and Liao Zixuan quickly realized it, all thanks to his crazy style attributes for the girl. That is, all upgraded attribute points will affect the element affinity attribute of magic and magic by investing in the unified brain. This means that although Vivian is only at level 10 now, at least in terms of the elemental affinity attribute, it is comparable to the level of a level 22nd level profession, an elemental mage, with magic as its absolute strength. In fact, players in previous lifetimes have not tried this kind of bonus method, but it is far from having this terrifying effect, because ultimately, players are just a string of data, they are subject to system checks and balances, and excessively inflated values will be automatically diluted and controlled within a reasonable range. However, Vivian is different. As an indigenous person, she uses her own solid body. In other words, these added attributes have not been diluted in any way and have completely become the power of a young girl. It's like the player is using addition, while the little girl is directly multiplying. Now that it's only level 10, it's already so abnormal. If we go further, level 20, level 30 as soon as he thought of this, Liao Zixuan's eyes instantly became hot, and the dark burning wolf transformed into a big grey wolf, drooling at the still confused little girl. Although he himself belongs to the same category of bugs as Vivian, and even the starting point is countless times higher but how did that sentence come to pass? A real big shot never ends up in person. This is also why Liao Zixuan has always been enthusiastic about practicing his profession as a companion. Compared to pretending to be tough himself, Liao Zixuan had already grown tired of it. He preferred to personally guide and cultivate talented people, and then watch them pretend to be tough. So go ahead, girl. The entire flame domain and fire god under version 1.0 are waiting for you to save. Just as Liao Zixuan was still immersed in the excitement of having a new daughter next door but little did he know that there was another super gift that absolutely surprised him, and it was precisely because of the commotion created by Vivian that it was quickly given to him in vain. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 Blocked Test Players in Action You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 Blocked Test Players in Action Go back 40 minutes in time. Nochi Village Today's village is a bit different from before. Many of the working villagers in the village are all focused and secretly looking at two young people who have just come out of the village head's house, completely unfamiliar faces. It's not surprising that these two people just seem out of place in the impoverished and remote village of Nochi. One of them was wearing skilled leather armor with a wooden bow hanging from the back, while the other was even more impressive, dressed in a robe that was said to only be eligible for the use of magic by influential figures. The villagers privately speculated that these two outsiders must have come from the Huidian city, but they didn't know what they were doing in this small and impoverished village. But in reality, the villagers all guessed wrong. These two people not only did not come out of the Fire Classic City, but were also racking their brains, worrying about how to enter the Fire Classic City. That's right, if Liao Zixuan were also here, 
he would definitely have his eyes lit up and exclaimed, as expected, the classics in the novel didn't deceive him, so he was so excited. Because on the heads of the outsiders, in these two villages, there are rows of characters that the indigenous people of the world cannot see. One big watermelon per bite, Melee Magic God the unique nickname system for players. Yes, the outsiders in the eyes of these two villagers are exactly as sealed beta players from another world. The reason why they came to Nochi Village is actually very simple they really have nowhere else to go. Watermelon, you said it's been so many weeks now. Our activity range is still limited to these peripheral villages, and after internal testing, we only have the last half month left. If we don't hurry up and explore more content, we won't have a chance. Wearing a long robe, he should be the player from the caster profession, now nagging his companions with a worried expression. The hunter player carrying a bow and arrow, also known as a big watermelon in one bite, sighed helplessly. Hey, we're like this, aren't everyone else similar? These days, I have been browsing game forums every day and chatting with people in my circle several times. No one has taken any action, they all say it was intentionally designed by the official. Originally, as early as a month ago, the highly anticipated immersive virtual reality masterpiece, Falling God, finally issued its first batch of beta testing qualifications. Major anchors, studios, video producers, and tens of millions of reserved players have long been like sharks smelling the smell of blood, snatching away one of their few beta test qualifications. Everyone wants to seize the opportunity and try out this timeless masterpiece, after all, as long as you're not blind, you can see its immense potential and influence. Anyone who can make a name for themselves in it may not have to worry about food and drink in this lifetime. Of course, there are also many who truly love games and want to experience the legendary 100% immersive virtual reality, one with absolute intelligence and the other with a god in a different world. So many people cherish their qualification for being banned and wish they could cut it into 10 in a second, trying their best to understand and explore this new world as much as possible. Even if this is just a beta test, the account will be cleared and basic data will be deleted in the end. After all, data is dead, but people are alive. Just relying on experience during testing, we don't know how many detours we can avoid and lead others by a large margin. Perhaps the authorities also realize this, so for the sake of fairness, although it appeared to be an open world to explore on their own, in reality, the birthplaces of these sealed test players were all set at the edge of the map, far away from big cities, in remote rural villages one by one. This is commonly known as the novice village. That's okay, but what's even more remarkable is that a great deity has gone through countless hardships. After finally killing from the novice village all the way to the bottom of Hujian city, they were told that the whole city is in a very difficult period, and outsiders without permission to enter the city are not allowed to enter. This is not clear, it's blocking our range of activities. The melee god muttered discontentedly. However, at this moment, the big watermelons one by one next to him gave a mysterious smile. He first looked around like a thief, then approached and whispered to his companions. A few minutes ago, I felt the same way, but now I don't think so. What? What do you mean, do you have a way? The melee magic god's eyes lit up instantly and he quickly asked anxiously. Do you remember the task we just took on? Task. The two of them had just arrived at Norwich Village from another place, and the first thing they did was naturally their old profession. They wandered around the village to see if there were NPCs who could send missions. They are also old fogies about this kind of thing. Soon, they have three or four tasks, but they are all very ordinary, such as hunting low level demons, helping to make tools, looking for lost girls, and so on but the problem lies in this last task. Searching for the girl who has entered the Claw of Terror to collect medicine but has not returned. Task Description Recently, Pai Anlu, an old rascal from Noki Village, had a serious illness and was bedridden. His eldest daughter Vivian, in order to treat her younger brother, risked entering the Claw of Terror alone to search for herbs. However, 
she stayed up all night. Anlu, who was anxious, learned the news and wanted to request that you enter the Claw of Terror to find and bring back his missing daughter. Task Reward 15 copper coins, 60 experience points, at first glance, does it look very similar to the daily tasks of those bad streets. As luck would have it, Big Watermelon kept an eye out for it. After taking the task at Anlu's house, he curiously threw a reconnaissance skill at the sick young son who was lying in bed inside the house. It didn't matter if I didn't look at it, but I was startled at first glance. Because Andy level. 5 status. Deep poisoning, dot. Main profession. Apprentice mage, sub profession. Villager LV1, Fire God Believer LV1, WOC. A novice magician. This profession can definitely cause quite a stir even among their group of beta testers, because so far no player has been able to find a career path as a wizard. Don't be fooled by the fact that Melee Magic God uses the name of a magic god and pretends to wear a long robe, but in reality, he hasn't even touched the door of a novice wizard. As a result, such a magician who could be called a noble profession, among professionals, actually appeared on the youngest son of a gambler in a small rural village. That's it this is too abnormal. And what kind of ghost sub-profession is Fire God Believer, and why are there three question marks after the opponent's status bars, deep poisoning? This is the first time in so many days that Big Watermelon has seen a message displayed with dot in Falling God. From top to bottom, he revealed his strange little son Andy, almost writing the five words, I have a big secret, on his forehead. The key to uncovering this secret must be in the corresponding task of finding the herb-picking girl who has not returned to the Claw of Terror Forest. De Shigua speculated in his heart that it is highly likely that this is just an introduction task, which can trigger a larger hidden task chain later on. You can see what a high.end player is from here. If it were an ordinary player, they probably wouldn't be able to sit still long ago and would be so excited that they headed straight for the Claw of Terror Forest, but Big Watermelon wasn't in a hurry. He suppressed his excitement and finally had the scene of the two walking out of the village chief's house at the beginning. De Shigua pretended to chat, but in reality, his purpose was to gather intelligence and gain a better understanding of the Anlu family. It doesn't matter if you don't understand. Once you understand, my goodness, it's another heavyweight news than the appearance of the mage profession before. Lao Lai Anlu, due to owing gambling debts and his youngest son suffering from a strange illness, completely declared bankruptcy. In order to make money, he unexpectedly contacted a butler of a large family in the Fire Classic City, through connections, intending to buy his eldest daughter Vivian as a servant for someone else. Big Watermelon doesn't care about other people's family affairs, nor does it care about how miserable this little girl named Vivian is. She was sold as an item by her biological father. Anyway, they are just early canon fodder NPCs. In contrast, Big Watermelon is more concerned about the information conveyed by this task, that is, through this task, he may be able to find one the way to the Fire Classic City. Now, even Big Watermelon couldn't sit still anymore. After explaining all of this to the nearby melee god who was still confused, the two of them rushed straight to the Terror Claw Forest without stopping. As a result, shortly after entering the forest, a sudden loud noise from deeper into the forest caught the attention of both of them. After glancing at each other, their hearts thumped and they quickly began to approach the location of the sound. End of this chapter Chapter 8 This NPC is definitely not easy. Above You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 8 This NPC is definitely not easy. Above, Vivian, Vivian, please hold on and don't let anything happen. Big Watermelon and the Melee God are both anxiously praying in their hearts. Because it is obvious that the fate of this NPC will directly affect the direction of subsequent missions, and only by successfully rescuing Vivian from the Claw of Terror can the subsequent plot be triggered. At the same time, both of them were prepared to face the battle, but to be honest, they were both somewhat uncertain because from the commotion just now, 
it seemed that it was not something ordinary monsters could create. It is highly likely to be an elite monster, or even a small boss. After two weeks of crazy leveling and task taking, the level of these sealed test players quickly froze around level 10. The reason is that they can no longer gain experience from low dot level monsters in the novice area, but cannot defeat high dot level monsters in further and deeper areas. After all, in these small villages on the edge, there are no mentors to promote their players and teach them skills. If they survive, they will become a hunter sub-profession like Big Watermelon, which is considered good. There is no profession, no expertise, no skills, and only a level panel alone, which greatly reduces the combat power of sealed test players. It is very embarrassing, as it is insufficient compared to the top and more than enough compared to the bottom. And this is also why these sealed beta players are so eager to open up new maps and go to big cities. Line of Sight Transition Just as Big Watermelon and the Melee God were eagerly anticipating and anxiously approaching Vivian on the other side of the forest, where the protagonist Vivian was, the lazy little wolf, who was being held by the little girl, seemed to sense something. Liao Zixuan felt strange for a moment before jumping off the girl. The perception ability of the Dark Flame Wolf is incredibly powerful, which is the commonality of all high dot level monsters. So far away, before the two beta testers could find Vivian, Liao Zixuan had already locked them in first. Then he saw the magical image transmitted before his eyes, with one person holding a big watermelon in one bite and the other holding a melee god on their head. Ouch! Lying trough. Ahem. From Vivian's perspective, it was her own little black wolf tilting its head and first making a seemingly confused cry. Then, as if suddenly becoming extremely excited, he let out a high wolf roar in a certain direction towards the forest, as if seeing some delicious prey. Xiao Hei, what's wrong? Vivian squatted down, and the little girl stroked the little wolf curiously, while also looking towards the position pointed out by Liao Zixuan. After spending most of the day together, the relationship between a person and a wolf quickly heated up, and the girl was already incredibly affectionate towards him. Someone is coming towards us. But don't worry, there shouldn't be any hostility. Liao Zixuan used telepathy to convey vague thoughts to Vivian, making her roughly aware, while also rapidly operating his brain and secretly calculating. The power of players was not unexpected by Liao Zixuan. On the contrary, it was a crucial force in his cultivation of witches, and one of the reasons why he was so confident in Vivian's future. After all, the little girl has a weak foundation and comes from the bottom. She is a small villager who has nothing to do with any main storyline. She is completely incomparable to those big families who have been passed down for thousands of years and have a terrifying background, one in heaven and one in earth. But Liao Zixuan wants to turn the world of Fallen God upside down with Vivian, so they must rely on external forces, and the players are the best leaks. Allies Of course, it's quite simple to say, but in practice, it definitely requires billions of skills. But fortunately what Liao Zixuan is most skilled at is skill and cleverness although it was indeed much earlier than expected to encounter players, it was not difficult for Liao Zixuan, or rather the opposite. For him and the girl, it was definitely a great thing. Because first of all, based on the equipment and level of these two players, Falling God should still be in the beta testing stage before it officially opens. Secondly, the other party's course of action is very clear, coming straight towards themselves and the little girl. Without any accidents, it should be attracted by Vivian's previous super magic missile movement. Finally, Liao Zixuan noticed in great detail that the expressions of these two players seemed to be very anxious, and on the way forward, they always looked around the forest as if searching for something. Are they heading for Vivian? Due to her own reasons, the girl did not return all night, so Vivian's family was worried that she would encounter an accident and specially invited someone to go to the Claw of Terror to find her missing daughter. And these two are the players who happen to receive this human search mission. Liao Zixuan quickly outlined the causes and consequences in his mind, but soon felt something was wrong. Because in his opinion, 
searching for lost cats and dogs is a very ordinary small task, and theoretically, players, especially those who are qualified for beta testing, should not be allowed to be so dedicated. However, it doesn't matter. In short, he couldn't escape and didn't want to, but before these two players found this place, he still needed to perform a test on Vivian's small packaging. A few minutes later. I found it. I found it. Look at the watermelon, is it there? The melee magic god in the forest had the sharpest eyes, and he immediately saw Yao Zishuan and the girl who were intentionally parked in the same spot, waiting for the two of them to deliver them to the door. On the other end, hearing the excited voice of the Dharma god, Big Watermelon's heart was just overjoyed, but when he looked over the next second, his eyelids twitched instantly. With the bonus of being a hunter deputy, he has a stronger visual sense than the Dharma god. Big Watermelon can clearly see that behind Vivian's side, a pitch black little wolf is slowly walking out of the grass, getting closer and closer to the girl. Not good. The task NPC is in danger. Big Watermelon mistook the little black wolf for a wild monster in the forest. So, he immediately took off the bow and arrow behind him with his backhand, and the active effect of his deputy, Hunter, immediately took effect. He saw that while the others were still running, Big Watermelon was able to smoothly take the arrow and pull the bow with his hands, making a aiming posture. Whoosh! The piercing sound of breaking through the air echoed through the forest, and a sharp wooden arrow with an iron arrow shot out in an instant, heading straight towards the little black wolf behind the girl. However, in the next moment a scene that completely stunned the sealed beta players, Big Watermelon and Melee Magic God, appeared. 1. Before the arrows flying in mid-air arrived, a pale blue halo suddenly emerged from the little villager girl, exploding and expanding, ultimately forming a huge semi-transparent barrier. The iron arrow shot by the big watermelon hit this barrier without even making a sound, and fell straight and vertically, powerless to fall to the ground. This before big watermelon and the Dharma god could react, it was the next breath, and a chilling suffocating pressure followed closely behind them. As for what is most unexpected, the source of this terrifying hostility is actually the village girl who was supposed to be missing in the claw of terror during the mission and they were going to rescue Vivian. End of this chapter. Chapter 9. This NPC is definitely not easy. Below. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 9. This NPC is definitely not easy. Below, don't get excited. Don't get excited Vivian, take it easy, Liao Zishuan cursed at the hunter's deputy player in his heart, why did he insist on shooting an arrow at him with his hands low? He quickly used telepathy to convey his thoughts and comfort the girl. They probably didn't have any malice, they just treated me like a wild monster, afraid that I would hurt you, that's why they attacked me. To be honest, Liao Zishuan was also startled by the girl's reaction. Especially after the end of the magic shield, what an honest and naive little girl she was, she almost raised her hand and threw a magic missile at the two test players. This scared Liao Zishuan to death. I finally managed to meet two chives. They are dear player allies, but don't be left with nothing left by Vivian's missile. But of course, if it comes to being touched, there is definitely something. It seems that you really didn't hurt this foolish child in vain. On the other hand, Vivian felt the vague idea conveyed by her own little wolf cub to calm her down, and the girl finally lifted her impulsive state from the previous heat. In fact, even the little girl herself did not expect that at that moment, she would be so angry and impatient when she saw the stranger with a bow and arrow shoot an arrow at Little Black, intending to harm him. The magic shield is almost instinctively deployed subconsciously. Even if the arrow was not aimed at her, even Vivian knew that the opponent's attack was not worth mentioning to Xiao Hei and would not cause any harm. That's right. I'm sorry about what happened earlier. Vivian, who had returned to her normal state, immediately ran all the way to the two beta testers who were still sitting there, their brains like they had crashed. The little girl bowed deeply, feeling very embarrassed. 
It's because I didn't understand the situation and almost used magic to attack you. I'm really sorry for startling you. I'm sorry. Vivian was very nervous, stuttering and apologizing incessantly. The little girl seemed to have returned to the young and naive rural girl that Liao Zixuan had first met, completely different from the girl who had unleashed terrifying magic the previous moment. Cough, cough, cough. Vivian apologized before her eyes, finally bringing the two beta testers back to their senses. They suddenly coughed awkwardly and quickly waved their hands at the little girl, being pleasantly surprised. It's okay, it's okay. I was too anxious to shoot arrows at your pet without authorization. Big Watermelon's gaze drifted to the little black wolf following the girl and asked tentatively. If it's all here and he can't see that this villager girl and this little black wolf are actually together anymore, then he can just hit them dead. In fact, with Andy's previous background, Big Watermelon was able to quickly accept the fact that Vivian also had magic skills. After all, my younger brother already knows magic, and it's only natural for my older sister to do the same. The reason why Big Watermelon is still so shocked is because the magic level displayed by the girl is too strong. It can be said that he has seen the most powerful NPC in half a month of testing. He secretly speculated from the bottom of his heart that perhaps this little girl had successfully advanced to become a formal wizard, no, perhaps even higher, to the level of a second-level profession. But here's another question. How can a spellcaster be hooked on a monster? His weight. De Shigua's mind suddenly flashed with a flash of inspiration, recalling several major professions displayed in the trailer of Falling God. And the spellcasters and monsters seem to have a profession that can connect these two. Can you say just as Big Watermelon was about to guess the correct answer, Vivian interrupted him, or rather, confirmed his guess. Xiao Hei is not my pet. The girl first shook her head vigorously, then bent down and hugged Liao Zixuan from the ground, gently stroking him. He was summoned by me, he is my companion, and I treat Xiao He as my own home, every family member. Vivian corrected Big Watermelon's words very seriously. At the end, she felt a bit embarrassed at first, but in the end, she gathered the courage to speak more from the bottom of her heart, as if it was something very important for her. But of course. After speaking, the little girl's face was just brushing away, afraid to look at the little wolf cub stretching lazily in her arms at the moment. After all, Vivian knows that her own little black has extremely high intelligence and can understand what she means. On the other hand, just as the little girl was still blushing and in the stage of shame when she uttered shameful words, the other two beta testers on the opposite side, who were listeners, were once again stirred up by the girl's words, causing a huge wave in their hearts. Especially for close combat magic god students who have always longed for the profession of magicians. I'll make a big mistake. The melee god was stunned at Vivian. Summoned out. She's actually not a wizard professional yet, she's actually a summoner. That's not right. She is a summoner, even if she is a member of the caster lineage, but isn't your magical power a bit exaggerated? You should know that the melee mage god has studied all the professions that use magic in fallen gods several times, and he is also aware of the summoner profession. This type of profession can be said to belong to the spellcaster's branch, which is a very collateral branch. The game trailer states that he has abandoned his pursuit of elements and magic and turned to studying the mysteries of magical creatures. Simply put, summoners can be said to be the most skilled in using magic, as their strength often depends not on themselves, but on the monsters they contract with. Thinking of the melee god here, I couldn't help but glance at my friend Big Watermelon. I thought the terrifying magical pressure just now was the strength of the girl in front of me, but to my surprise, it turned out to be the weakest strength of the other party. That girl's true strength as a summoner, how strong is this lazy looking little black wolf being held in the other's arms? And even before, I unknowingly shot an arrow at this little wolf. As soon as he thought of the big watermelon here, he broke out in a cold sweat because the death penalty for players in Falling God was very heavy, especially in the beta test. 
He had no doubt that this black wolf, which looked like a little cub, would definitely kill himself without even blinking an eye. When the time came, he had nowhere to cry even if he wanted to. Of course, there may be one aspect, but at the same time, in the hearts of the two beta testers, there seems to be a cat paw constantly scratching, and a strong sense of curiosity cannot be suppressed. Now they all know that this little girl is very strong, probably not the strongest hidden NPC in several villages in this large peripheral area. But strong is strong, but how strong is it? Even though the melee magic god and big watermelon are well aware in their hearts that using the detection skill against the more powerful NPC is, the more likely they are to be detected by the other party, which is very impolite. This is also why they did not use detection on Vivian in the first place before. But now they can't help it anymore. They want to explore more details about this NPC named Vivian through the system. So, after some ideological struggle, they felt that from their previous apology performance, the little girl was still quite kind and good, so they shouldn't care about these things, right? Forget it, detective. The little wolf cub held in the arms of a young girl, Liao Zishuan took a deep breath at this moment. After feeling the detection wave exerted on Vivian, he smiled with relief in his heart. TSK isn't that enough. Did you get hooked? End of this chapter. Chapter 10. Which Vivian? You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 10 Which Vivian? Based on your level, you have obtained the following information, which who likes to disguise? Vivian, level. 10 status. Poisoned, dot. Main profession. Summoner LV1 associate occupation. Villager LV2, Taylor LV2, danger level. Fatal, detailed intelligence 1. Vivian grew up in Nochi village from a young age and is a simple and honest villager. She is enthusiastic, kind, and full of a sense of justice. Detailed intelligence 2. She has a harmless little wolf as a companion, inseparable from humans and animals, detailed intelligence 3. Recently, Vivian's home in Norwich Village seems to have undergone some changes, which has made the girl very distressed. If anyone can help her at this time, the intelligence obtained through detection came to a sudden halt here. However, the hearts of Big Watermelon and Melee Magic Gods couldn't stop at all, and instead became increasingly pounding and jumping. They can't believe their eyes. Because what did they see? Skilled at disguising. Which? Which? After thinking that he relied on the system's detection to pry into the true identity of the young girl NPC in front of him, Big Watermelon trembled all over, his throat trembled, and he swallowed a mouthful of saliva hard. And among the friends around Big Watermelon, the melee magic god was not much better, and even directly cursed in his heart. Can you translate for me? What kind of TM is called TM? Magic. Female. In a small and dilapidated village located on the edge of the world map, can a witch be seen in every corner? The reason why the two beta testers reacted so violently is entirely because they have already read the background story in the trailer of Fallen God, so they are very clear about what the word witch symbolizes in the world of Fallen God. Evil, tyranny, cruelty, and choosing no means for the purpose having extremely strong strength, but each one has a dark heart and does not engage in any personal activities all day, he is a natural standard villain template, still the kind of seat that ranks among the top super bosses in the villain camp. Before the appearance of the Nine Gods, the world was full of chaos, with all living beings in chaos and no order at all, and the witch faction played an indispensable role in this. However, in the post-era when the Nine Gods emerged, the old gods fell, and the new gods rose, the Nine Realms were established, and everyone feared the power of the Nine Gods. With the establishment of new rules, the world gradually improved. During this period, most of the evil villains were completely wiped out by the Nine Gods, but there were still a few troublesome forces that even the Nine Gods couldn't handle completely. They chose to avoid their sharpness, disappear from the open, and begin to lurk in the shadows, 
turning to operate in the dark. One of them is the witch who belongs to the chaotic evil. Watermelon, why don't we run away? The melee magic god whispered to his teammates using built.in chat, and he was almost crying. In theory, encountering a powerful NPC is definitely a good thing, because the higher the position and the more unpredictable the strength of an NPC, the more treasure they are covered in. This is the general knowledge of all games. Perhaps a casual task from someone else is worth a thousand dollars and is extremely precious. But all of this is based on the premise that the other party is friendly, no, let alone friendly, as long as they are a normal and reasonable NPC. However, what a witch is, what stands out from others is that she is unreasonable. Each witch has a unique personality, and they all follow their temperament, doing whatever they want. Do you understand chaos and evil? Crazy. All crazy women. I'll just come up with an excuse later and say we're passing by. Don't mention the task, then hurry up and leave. De Shigua took it for granted and was very certain of his teammate's proposal. At the same time, while the two players were frightened and calculating how to escape, Liao Zishuan and Vivian on the other side were also not idle, whispering with telepathy. Vivian, these two people should be running for you. Liao Zishuan began his gentle persuasion of the little girl. Looking for me. But I don't know them, do I? The girl asked blankly. Liao Zishuan was not in a hurry, but he slowly explained. Think about it, you stayed in the claw of terror all night and didn't go home. Your family must have been very anxious. They must be afraid of something wrong with you, so they hired these two seemingly powerful outsiders to come into the forest to find you. Ha! Huh. Is that so? Hmm. Xiao Hei is so smart. After Liao Zishuan's explanation, the girl quickly understood. She rubbed Liao Zishuan's little wolf's head with a hint of frustration and sourness in her voice, because it was such a simple matter, and as a human, she didn't even have a little black brain spinning fast. But then Vivian immediately became nervous again. It's broken. We need to quickly have them go back and report it, otherwise my father will definitely be in a hurry. No, wait for Vivian first. We can't let them go back yet. Liao Zishuan, like a big bad wolf who finally showed his fangs, began the first step of his induction. Why? Because the place we are going to later is very dangerous, of course, the more people there are, the safer it is, no, no, no. Then we can't let them go on adventures with us. The kind and foolish girl's answer was completely within Liao Zishuan's expectations. But he is not worried at all, because he has a trump card that has not yet been sacrificed, don't you want your younger brother's illness to be cured early? Although it may be a bit despicable, Liao Zishuan is well aware that for a young girl, her family is definitely her weakness. As expected, when he mentioned the girl's younger brother, Vivian's expression immediately shook a bit. So Liao Zishuan quickly took advantage of the heat and continued. Besides, their strength is already not bad, and they voluntarily accepted your father's commission. I believe that as long as you also ask them for help, these people will definitely be willing to help. Can, anyway, it's just a question. If they don't want to, it's okay. We won't force others. Okay, okay, I'll give it a try. The girl was finally convinced by Liao Zishuan. Vivian's heart was torn between putting strangers in danger and being able to better protect herself. The girl ultimately chose the latter, which was what Liao Zishuan truly felt happy about. Because it may not be obvious yet, but as we move forward, Vivian will definitely rise higher and higher. If the little girl is still in the mood of a villager, there will be big problems sooner or later. Taking advantage of today's situation, Liao Zishuan's first class began. He wanted to secretly instill in the girl a subconscious that no matter what, he should always consider himself before others. It may sound a bit selfish and immoral, but who cares? Kindness is a virtue, but unfortunately it's too hot to handle. Are you willing to see a Saint Vivian who sacrifices herself everywhere, wrongs herself, 
and benefits others, or a witch Vivian who is decisive in her actions, tough in her actions, and speaks without hesitation. Anyway, if Liao Zixuan had to be infuriated by the former, he would definitely choose the latter. Still that sentence. Liao Zixuan never thought of making the girl a highly respected Virgin Mary in the world, his goal was to become a witch. Legendary Witch Vivian. It's the Dark Queen who wants to make the whole world tremble. So fall quickly, black and quickly. Girl. End of this chapter.